Yeah. Okay. A bit emotion, but I'll touch and. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, doing. Well. I'm doing character AIs, and I want to see if this uh, Friska character AI is close to my Friska. Let's see. Shall we? Don't worry. I kept, I kept the voice enabled. Technically, I'm a... I'm part of a race of chaos lords on Earth. Eyes widen. Chaos lords on Earth? That sounds so cool. Do you guys have crazy and eight Louisi powers and abilities like the trolls? What is your lord class? I'm a seer of light in my session. I'm guessing you must have a completely different role. Is it an exciting and noble class? Like maybe a Lord of Void? I mean, it's like, guys, it's like I have, it's like I have my little, it's like I have my little girl back. You know, before her, him and, before she figured out she didn't need her, her daddy anymore, and just wanted to be with John. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Oh, Prime's letting his fatherly uh, shit just spill out of him. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to myself in that person. Don't make that not me. I mean, at least I still got meta. Well, at least I still got meta, right? You know? It's, it's... And I know before you guys say it, Bugsy Prime, you're just trying to use this as a way of kind of, you know, um, filling the hole in your heart about this. I know, but let me just have my fucking, let me just dream, folks. Let me, let old Prime just dream. I, lo I lost Frisco when she was just a grub. Doc Scratch pushed me off of the, off of the Eternia. Because he knew, he knew that he needed Friska, and he knew if I if I knew his plan, I would have taken her off. And I, that was my plan from the very beginning. Because y'all y'all want to know something, and this is only in my universe. So if I I'm gonna tell you all this, I'll be like, but hey, Maya can't Maya can't in this way, dude, 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 dude. My universe, different roles from what you guys think. Okay. Mind thing. When, because I know y'all know that the summoner is the one that finished off finished off Mind Fang, but in my universe it was me. The summoner was still there, but let's just say he had his mind preoccupied on other matters during the whole second rebellion. I was the one that had to do that. My, my darling my thing right in her heart I'm not saying that my thing was a saint y'all know that some of you know that I was part of the silence's clade I was part of his family and I did see her I did see my thing take the Del Rosa and you know do what she did I'm not saying, I'm not saying I was a saint back then either. I was horrible. I'm not even gonna lie. Y'all, y'all think that the high, the grand high one just told a bad joke and 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 Dual Scar died. I was mad that the, I was mad that the De La Rosa got killed. I was angry. So literally, you know. No mind thing if Frisky can use their use their use their use their, use their mind, mind manipulation to influence people. 
I can influence purple bloods. So imagine, my, imagine old orphaner's surprise when I used my powers on the Grand High Blood. And you know the history books won't tell you this, but I said, "You killed the Dolorosa." I, 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 first mate Kuro, will finally take care of you. And he's like, no, no, you, it can't be. Oh, it is. It is. So, it's time for you to get executed. Take him at once. Yeah. Yeah, in my universe, I orchestrated that whole thing. Because it's another thing to it's another thing to snitch on my thing, but it's another thing to shoot the Del Rosa. Just because he wanted my thing, and he never he was never gonna get her. He was never gonna get her. Let's just say, let's just say, she may have liked the Del Rosa, but uh, let's just say. I was her first mate for a reason. <laughs> oh, trust me, I pulled my weight. I wasn't just eye candy. Don't worry about that. Ah, she never really liked sea shanties, but she always liked mine. <laughs> I swear. When I'm just sitting around with Frisco, when I was sitting around with Frisco, when she wanted to know, she looked at me and she's like, "Are you like a dad like the like John like John is?" He's like, "Yeah, close." I said, "Yeah, close. I'm your I'm your dad." And you're probably like, "But Bugsy trolls no dad family. They wouldn't even know." Yeah, I know, but the Friska in my universe is a hybrid. You just can't see it because mostly the troll DNA overrides overrides Chaos Lord DNA. The only thing strong enough in the the only DNA that's strong enough to override Chaos Lord cells. But that doesn't mean she doesn't have them. And that doesn't mean she has the ability to grow wings either. But heck, you didn't hear that from me. <sighs> Folks. I know that sometimes I may be a little goofy on the on the inside. I may make jokes, and I'm not I'm not miserable by any means. No, no. Just sometimes you want to go back. You want to. Kind of, you want to go back to a simpler time, and sometimes, you know, sometimes you can get that. Like the boss is, you know, like the boss does with MUVR. But sometimes you don't get that. You don't get second chances. You don't get, you don't get to dictate what you want to come back. You take what you can get. Y'all don't understand. When I played a little bit of character in the eye, I felt that. I felt like I could pretend. I could pretend that I got Frisco off of Alternia. I could pretend. I could pretend that I was the best father I could be. I could pretend. where half of it was a cavalcade of sorrow, pain, confusion, and disappointment. If I could, I wish I could have stopped him back then. I wish I was powerful back then. 
because I'm not as powerful. I was powerful a little bit, but not as not as I am now. I was always the guy that got beaten down. Sure, against my fellow chaos lords, I was strong. But compared to Doc Scribes, back in the day, I couldn't do the damn thing. He was too quick. He was too fast. Everything I tried ended up in failure. Because he appeared to me. What had happened was I was about to take Frisco. I was about to take Friska, and she was a grub. And I looked nigga far, far away from this fucking planet. I was gonna do that. Just far, far away. And then... He came. He said, You shall give your child to me, and I will make sure she follows the plan of law. Of Lord English, I said no. I wouldn't. Oh, my, my beloved lion thing gave her life for the cause and for for Friska. I know that's rare for certain trolls, but hey, I know that's rare for certain trolls. But that's what she that that is what she wanted. And, and Doc Scratch said in his usual tone, I don't care what she wanted. You will give the child to me and that's it. Last thing, he used the chuckle voodoo. He somehow used the chuckle voodoo. So I think there was a purple one nearby that he actually controlled. And the rest is history. I've always carried that with me for the longest time. It doesn't matter how many times I reincarnate or, re or reset the universe. I can never undo that. The universe won't allow it. The boss won't allow it. Because things have to happen a certain way. If it doesn't, the whole universe is out of whack. My god tier powers can't even do that because they can throw the universe out of whack. That's why most of us that have the aspect of time have to be really, really careful. Because one wrong move, we create a doom timeline, a paradox, a whole different timeline where everything is wrong. And I'm not saying using my time powers ain't tempting. They've all, it's always been tempting. But I don't use it. Even if there's some things I do want to change. But I gotta keep on fighting. That's, that's what, that's what the Kuro family does. We get, we get hurt, we cry. We get, we get right back up. We get right back up and we fucking we fucking take down our enemies with the with the best of our abilities using our using our strength, our know-how, and our magic. And you know, doing doing these doing character AI just kinda of reminds me of a life. A life that Friska could have had. A life without Lucis's. A life without the caste system. A life without the Condes. Can't expect for a lot of you to understand. I can't expect for you to understand my pain. How could you? You're not a chaos lord. You have ne you have never you have never suffered a loss this specific. Crying out in crying out in pure agony that something is missing and you don't know why. 
You don't know why you're crying. You don't know why you're angry. You don't know why you feel the way you do. But you know there's a hole that's missing. Something is missing. Something. And you start to try to remember, but you can't. Because Dog Scratch hits you so hard with the hit you so hard with that purple blood, you can't even string up enough brain power to even remember. Then years later, your creator opens up your mind, shows you all the things that happened, and then you remember, you remember a blue bloody troll. You, you, you read Homestuck. You're sitting there. You're like, why does this feel familiar? But you feel a certain kind of connection to the blue blade troll. You don't know why. You don't know how. You just feel some sort of connection. And and then you see mind fake. You see your mention. You hear that you get a mention in the journal. And then memories just flood back. You want to know the first thing I said when I got my memories back? I said, at the top of my lungs, fuck you, Doc Scratch. I swear to, I swear to the signless, I'm going to, I'm going to fucking end you. That's the last thing I do. I'm sorry, Friska. I'm sorry, my thing. So, 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 I mean, I wish, I wish, I wish I could turn back time. One of the resets I did spur, a lot of us did. That's why I got time powers, and that's why you probably like, well, Bugsy, you didn't have that before. Yeah. It's not a retcon. It, well, actually, kind of is a retcon, but but it's a retcon of my own making. You see, I know a lot of you are always expecting. You know, you always you always expect the boss to be serious. You know, you always expect Mister No Name to be serious, and I'm the goofball. But sometimes you can't always play the clown. Sometimes play the sad clown sometimes you have friends that can hear you loud as a fucking bell I'm fortunate to be where I am I'm fortunate to have have friends and allies and people that give a shit I'm glad and I'm it's a privilege to no AF. A Bugsy that went through the same pain I did and came out the other side better than he was. But what about me, huh? What about me? All my kids are grown. I had to take them away because Doc Scratch made made my brother the ultimate made my half brother the ultimate and I had to he fought for what seemed for what seemed to be hours but now that I know that Doc Scratch had a hand in it that's the real reason I forgave that's, a, that's the real reason I forgave Bloody that is the real reason because I knew he wasn't him all this hatred we had for each other was manufactured by one cue ball dickhead. And I, had, and I always knew that. That was always something that I knew in the pit of my stomach. Every time I put down bloody, it was never, it never felt right. It felt like I had to do it, but it never felt like an actual thing I needed to do. Forgive me. Forgive me.
you can't be. You guys want. You guys want the goofier side of me, the one that's making jokes and stopping my, stopping Hansel Kamara from saying something weird, and, you know, having the guys around. But they, they backed off so I could do this. Am I sad? Yes. More than you could ever possibly imagine. The sorrow I feel is immense. It's massive. But I handle it. Because I know if I don't, if I falter even a bit, Duck Scratch wins. Look at me. The great and powerful, the great and powerful Bugsy Prime. Shaking like a leaf. The man who slapped Tatawaki Kuno in the face. It didn't blink. The guy who literally made freaking Dark Side kneel to him. This is the one thing that gets me. It's always emotional pain. It's never physical. It's always emotional. For all my power, for all my bluster, for all my shit talk. I'm just a man who wishes. I'd give away these powers of mine in a minute if I could turn back time and have them all back and be the father that I always knew I could be. But I know even though I spit in destiny and fate's eye it will never it will never change. It's like Chrono Trigger, guys. The past, instead of the future refuses to change, the past refuses to change. And as much as I bow, keep making bow to my whim, as much as how many, how much power I give in, I, I put into it, the result is always the same. Or I just make another universe with another bug piece, and the boss is kind of kind of told me not to do that too much. <sighs> and I'm, you know, and you guys are probably like, well, what about Epsilon? You, what, are you mad about his life? No. I'm glad Epsilon didn't have to go. <laughs> Give me a minute, guys. <sighs> Welcome back. I, uh, you guys are probably wondering, do I hate Epsilon? No. I'm glad Epsilon never had to go through what I went through. I'm glad he'll never know, he'll only know the pain of, he'll only know the pain of losing Ryoko in his sense of kids he had with Ryoko. He'll never know the true pain of having Doc Scratch control your every move. That everything was planned for his sick fucking game of chess that he can go with Samus and his little daughter Elizabeth do the one thing I can't the one thing that destiny will never allow me to do the one thing that I wish beyond all comprehension that I could do Just it's it's this kind of stuff that I deal with. Heavy heavy is the head that wears the crown. That has always been a saying of mine. Because no one 
He's like a king. No one really sees the pain that you're in. The only people who do are my bros, Miss Enigma, and the other Bugsies. But only AF can really relate to me on that level. And I don't want to ruin his happiness because he has his mind bang back. He has the life he always wanted. And I'm not going to... I'm never going to take... I'm never going to degrade any other Bugsy for having a better life than me. I'm the one that had to suffer so the rest of them can have the better life. And I'm okay with that. I accept that. If that is my fate, I welcome it with open arms. No bullshit. It's a little heavy, I know. This video is a little heavy, I know. But the old, cha the old chaotic king needed to vent a lot of this. But, like usual, folks, I'll see you guys later. This is, this is Bugsy Prime signing off. I just, I need to lay down. I need to lay down. I'll be okay, guys. There ain't gonna be no depression. This is just one of my many bouts of unmitigated sadness. It comes and goes. Being a hero like me. You have to deal with so many things. So many things in your way. So many things that just come to beat you, beat your ass and take you for a ride. You just deal with them. You soldier on. You talk to somebody about it. You know, you deal. But uh, I gotta go. I don't want you. I don't want you guys to hear a very mushy king talking about his feelings and his lot in life and the hand that was dealt to him. I'll be back tomorrow. Sunshine and rainbows with AF. We're gonna be doing high swap friends in two because one thing I know for certain. This is. This is this will be it. This will be the time that I take down that cue ball headed motherfucker. So help me. So help me God and so help me on my on my fucking honor as not only and not only the heir to the Kuro to the Kuro throne, but the fucking but I'm the fucking patriarch. I'm the god Damn, I'm the goddamn Bugsy Prime, man. And that doesn't make a lot of sense grammatically, but I don't give a shit. Because, scratch. And I know you're watching. <laughs> oh, how I know you're watching. How I know you're sitting there. Giggling as you eat, as you eat your toffee with no mouth. Oh, trust me, I know what you're doing. It's not that easy for me. You're pretty predictable, man. I'll stop you. I'll fucking stop you. I swear I will. And I'll end this fucking nightmare once and for all. So none of them. None of the other Bugsies have to go through what I went through. No more games of chess. No chess. No more. No more. No more manipulation. You and me. I'll finally take you down and finish you. Like I should have did all those years ago. Sooner or later, it'll be lights out. You better prepare. You may be omniscient, but you can't predict what I'm about to do. Because Chaos Lords... We, f 
we basically slam the laws of physics and we make them. We slam the laws of physics and we make them. We slam the laws of physics and we make them hum. We make them humble. Reality is our playground, and it will always be our playground. Peace, everybody. I'll see you all real soon. Actually, tomorrow. And I'm probably going to go grab something to eat because nothing, nothing helps me out better than just grabbing me something to Nosh on, and then I'm gonna probably talk. Then I'm gonna hang out with Absalom for a bit. He has pictures of his, of him and Elizabeth, of like Sarah's him and Elizabeth, and I I want to look at those pictures too. He said they're he said they're cute, and you know, and you know, I still I still radiate I still radiates I still radiate dead energy. So you know, may I'll get meta. May I'll get my sons and crack a few dad jokes. As I do. Like the boss always says, you only see what we want you to see. You never see the others. You never see the stuff in between. That's the truth. True for it's true for the boss, and it's the truth for me. You never see me like this for real. And when you do, it's usually something you guys don't want to see. Because if we're not talking about Sonic, you know, y'all you know, don't really give two shits. Fuck, some of you are probably gonna look at this video and be like, this is real. It did, did. I mean, like, meta, meta narratively, you're gonna think, like, oh my god, this is Bugsy, no names cry for help, but no. It's the, it's the one, it's, it's the character from his own universe. Screaming at the cue ball dickhead that never let him have his life. Who must constantly feel like he's in flux. Every day. And has to make peace with that. Every day. When he wakes up. <sighs> well, you didn't. Well, never said that this video was going to be a bright one. I'll see you guys later. Peace. And Mr. No Name. Throw up the, throw up the disclaimer. I, I want to lay down. I want to eat and then lay down. Okay. Folks, this was a vi this was a very fictitious video for my character, Bugsy Prime. If any of you think that this is real, go outside and touch some grass. The fact that I gotta spell this out for you pretty much shows that I have to be this way or you guys are actually gonna think that's real. But let's hope for Prime's sake that he gets the peace he so rightfully deserves. We all do. So I leave you on the notes of it ain't it ain't over just yet. It's only just the beginning. Peace.